everyone. Wow. Um, so I'm on YouTube now. <laughs> wow. I've tried this before. Um, I really have, and I've never just felt comfortable doing it. Um, maybe I should have started a couple years ago. Um, but you know what? Honestly, my makeup skills... There's the chair. My makeup skills aren't what they are now, and they're still not where I want to be. Um... But you know what? I feel a calling to do this. Um, so I was trying to want like come up with ideas of what my first video should be. I didn't want to do swatches because honestly, um, everybody has everything I have. Um, everybody swatched the fetish palette. Everybody swatched uh, the Huda Beauty palette. Everybody swatched all this, and um, so I didn't want to do something late and um, just be kind of like a you know, hey, new channel, old stuff. No, that doesn't sound very interesting. So, um, as a way to introduce myself to you who don't know me, um, and as a way to kind of lay out what I want to do and all that kind of stuff, I decided to make this video, um, Makeup Inspirations and Aspirations. Um, this will be my first video on YouTube. Um, I'm going to do videos every Tuesday and Sunday. I'm eventually going to get a condenser mic and a stand and probably a couple more lights um, and learn to do editing but for now I just want to get out there um, because sitting on my butt and doing nothing is not getting me anywhere <laughs> um, so I'll link everything I'm wearing below I'll link any products that I talk about below I'll link everybody below <laughs> um, all my Instagram information yada yada Let's get into it, because uh, since I'm not editing, um, I don't want to make it a long video. Um, so, makeup inspirations. Well, actually, before I even get to that, let me introduce myself. I'm Erin. Um, I live in Dayton, Ohio, and I've been doing makeup since I was 18 years old, but I just recently started doing full face makeup. Um, I used to do, like, just eyeshadow or maybe lipstick or lip gloss, but I've recently just gotten full on into the glam of it um and i'm loving it so um with that being said now we can get into makeup inspirations and then later aspirations makeup inspirations um makeup brands specifically um i really want to do this shout out real quick and get it out there black radiance beauty is doing something really wonderful um as someone who is uh, of mixed race i'm uh, caucasian and african-american um I, I find this company very, um, just very uplifting. Um, Black Radiance Beauty is a makeup uh, company geared towards African Americans. Um, they have beautiful shades of foundation, beautiful makeup. Um, and they're really bridging this tough uh, tension between African Americans and those in the LGBT plus community. I'll get into that in one of my later videos probably. But for now, let's just say, um, as someone who is of mixed race and living in a kind of a, a rough area, um, there's a lot of tension between um, African Americans and LGBT plus community. So having a makeup company that is African American based and showing support and love for men who are doing makeup and who are of the LGBT plus community, that's a wonderful thing. And I thank them very much for it. And um, I'm actually wearing their uh, True Complexions contour palette. And they happen to make the best black lipstick out there. This is in the shade Blackout. And um, I'll probably show it to you guys one day when I'm doing a video. But this is the best black lipstick out there. And I love my black lipstick. So this is the top one. And it's only 99 cents. Their makeup is very affordable. Um... Another makeup company that inspires me is Macy and Mia Cosmetics. Macy and Mia Cosmetics is based out of Columbus, I want to say. Columbus, Ohio. So as someone who was born and raised in Ohio, I love that they're doing their thing. Uh, they have beautiful products. And this is their, uh, a part of their Playtime is Over collection with WWE wrestler Dana, Ashley Sabera, a.k.a. Dana Brooke. Um, and we'll get into more later, but I love professional wrestling. Uh, so bringing a professional wrestler and she's doing her own makeup thing, that's really cool. Um, and Macy and Mia Cosmetics, they're doing really amazing things. Um, and like I said, they're 
hometown people. So um, I just love what they do with makeup and that brand inspires me. So um, another makeup brand that really hits home for me. Um, oh my gosh. There's a lot of them, but I'm going to try and limit it. Um, I would say... Hmm. I really love MAC. <laughs> I do. MAC is where it all started. Um, when I first started just dabbling into makeup, MAC was the, the only thing I had ever heard of that was high-end. And that's immediately what I wanted. I wanted high-end makeup. Um, so MAC is... I bought my first lipstick from MAC, first foundation from MAC. Um, I waited in line for the Aaliyah collection from MAC. So I love MAC. Um, they're one of my favorite makeup companies. So those are the three major makeup companies that inspire me. Um, people who actually do makeup, I don't watch YouTube. I never have watched YouTube tutorials or anything. I don't keep up with the makeup gurus. Um, not saying anything bad about anyone specifically. Um, but I just don't watch them because I never felt the, the makeup calling to. Um, but people makeup wise who do inspire me, um, my makeup engagement group on Instagram is made up of some really wonderful people who are always pushing not only myself but each other to to do better in makeup to build up their Instagram and that's something that I'm looking to do but we'll get into that in the aspirations uh, part of this video um, so they inspire me and there are some really gorgeous talented people on there um, my friend Holly inspires me. Um, I will link her information below. Holly and I have known each other for a very, very long time, and she works at Sephora. She's a manager. She does some really amazing things with makeup. She's a great mom and a really gorgeous young lady. Um, so every time I see her makeup, I'm like, oh, I got to do better. Um, uh, back to Dana Brooke, Ashley Sabera inspires me because she not only did she make her own makeup line with um macy and mia but she does really amazing makeup um on herself um and she's very nice i've spoken to her before um speaking of wwe superstars a lot of the wwe superstars inspire me like naya Jax is a huge inspiration to me because of the fact that like you can look at her Instagram feed and she does like, she'll sit down and she'll do videos of her makeup. And that's really cool to me because it's like, I'm like, I do that. And also I like wrestling. And also at one point I was training to be a wrestler. Not saying that that's out of the question for now. Um, just putting it out there, but it's just cool to see someone who I relate to so much doing something that I do, like sitting down doing makeup and, she has a lot of the same products I do. So it's like, oh my gosh, we're like relating um, so much. So like, I just remember watching one of her videos where she was doing just some quick makeup. And I'm like, oh my God, like we're... Why are we not friends? And why, <laughs> like, I loved it. Um, so she's another inspiration. Uh, Natalia Neidhart with those cheek bones that I envy literally is inspiration to me. Like if I had the cheekbones that she does, whoo. Um, so I do love like watching her do her makeup. Um, the WWE Glam Squad, Leslie specifically, I am very good friends with her. Um, she really inspired me um, because I told her I was doing this YouTube and she's like, send me the link, I wanna see it. So when she said that, that meant a lot because um, I really didn't expect people to want to watch my video. So um, really excited. Um, shout out to her um, and the entire W Glam Squad. They do a really amazing work on these, uh, not only the female superstars, but the male superstars as well. And um, I actually did a look based off of, um, based off of a look that Leslie did on Dana Brooke um, at WWE Evolution. Um, I did my own little spin on it. Um, not as good as Leslie's work, but I was proud of it and I was feeling myself. Um, so they're very big inspirations. Uh, my mom has always been into makeup. Um, she actually still has some of her original makeup back from like the eighties that I've kind of dabbled into cause it's still really in pristine condition. Um, and she always pushes me to keep doing it, keep doing it, you know? Um, 
and just my friends. Um, I have a lot of friends. I can't name off specifically everybody um, in one setting, but those who have pushed me to do this, and I'm finally doing it. Um, so I hope you're proud of me. Um, let's get into makeup aspirations, and then we'll wrap up. Oh my gosh, this little, I never noticed that counter at the top, sorry. Um, let's get into aspirations and then wrap this video up. My aspirations, um, I want to build my Instagram because I've been working really hard on it. Um, everybody that I come in contact with on Instagram works really hard. Um, so I felt like YouTube will be that extra push to get me even more followers, to get my name out there. Um, I don't know what I want to do. I've always wanted to be famous, so I'm just saying... Um, I'd make a better celebrity than Takashi 6 9 just saying. Uh, but, no, um, yeah, I just, I like the attention uh, that I get because I've worked really hard on my makeup. I think I've been way too hard on myself, which is something everybody does with their makeup. And it's time that I stop that and just start to take a little bit more of a humbled pride in what I'm doing. Humbled pride. Everybody needs humble pride. Um... So, yeah, that's an aspiration. Another thing I like to do, um, just to inspire people like people have inspired me because, like I said, a lot of people get down on their makeup, and I understand it, but the thing is, makeup is an art, and you keep progressing, and I've seen some really awesome work, um, so that's something. Um, so, yeah, those are, like, my main things. And then just to get back into other areas that I've um, sadly slacked off and um as a professional wrestling maybe I don't know professional wrestling makeup artist I don't know <laughs> um but no um so that's pretty much it and just to have fun doing it because I I would like to have my own little makeup line I think that would be fun that's another thing I'd like to do but who knows who knows where this will take me it might take me nowhere it might take me somewhere who knows but it's better than not doing it at all because YouTube is always something I've wanted to do. And eventually I'll get like a condenser mic and be able to edit videos probably. But for now, I'm just going to be doing my Tuesday and Sunday videos. So catch me on here. I'll always link it on my Instagram and my Facebook. Um, so in closing, I know that this was a short video. I know it wasn't very interesting because I didn't do much. Just, you know, introducing myself and what I do and what I want to do and stuff like that. Um, but in closing, I really just want to thank, um, one person I want to thank is Kelly Hannes from, uh, Ned Peppers. She was the, I would say, honestly, she is the person who made me believe in myself and what I'm doing with makeup. Um, and I can't give her enough credit for seeing the talent that I have and helping me see the talent that I have. So I thank her for that. Um, uh, my friend Jessica did the exact same thing. She's always seeing the talent that I'm not seeing or that I'm criticizing. Um, my friend Miranda, who does the same thing. Everybody, <laughs> everybody for helping me uh, realize the talent that I just kind of, you know, or I'm too critical of. Um, the Buck family, Ariana, Missy, Mary, everybody um, loves them so much. Uh, they're always pressing me to do better. And to, you know, have fun and be confident. Um, so I appreciate that. And my mom for doing the same thing. And although naggy, she does inspire me to do better. So um, my makeup engagement group on Instagram, who everybody was like really positive and excited that I'm doing YouTube. Thank y'all so much. Um, Everybody on, on my Instagram who takes the time to like my pictures or to comment, I thank them for that because you don't have to, but you do. Um, so yeah, like I said, I know this was a short, quick video, not very interesting, but I felt weird not having an introduction. You know, if I just did a video and I'm like, hey, makeup, makeup, and you're like, who the heck is this kid and why is he shoving makeup in our faces? which a lot of people do that, and um, it, it would help to just introduce yourselves to the class before um, you present. So, um, yeah, thank y'all for watching, and um, I love you guys so much for uh, pushing me to do this makeup channel. That's why I'm doing, that, doing it without editing, because if I edited it, I probably wouldn't be doing it. Um, 
And Sunday, I will see y'all. Uh, every Sunday, I'm going to be doing um, makeup looks. I'll be doing my makeup and talking about a topic. I probably won't do the full look because it takes me too dang long. But um, we'll just be doing a makeup look and talking about different stuff that you guys send to me. Um, and then we'll figure a schedule out from there. So just keep tuned and um, keep watching and share me with your friends. All of my friends are so amazing at getting me even more people watching and Instagramming and stuff like that. So you guys are going to be my ticket to fame. I'll take you with me. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching. I love you guys.